For over four billion years, one side of the moon has been completely hidden from Earth, shrouded in mystery and unexplored by human hands. Until now, in June 2024, China pulled off something no country had ever achieved before. They brought back the first ever samples from the moon's mysterious far side. And what scientists discovered in those precious rocks is absolutely mind-blowing. These aren't just any moon rocks. They're time capsules that are rewriting our understanding of how the moon formed, revealing secrets about Earth's violent past, and proving that our celestial neighbor still has shocking surprises waiting to be uncovered. China's Chang'e 6 mission wasn't just another space flight, it was an engineering masterpiece that took 53 days to complete what seemed impossible. Named after the Chinese moon goddess, this robotic explorer launched on May 3, 2024, carrying humanity's hopes of finally reaching the moon's hidden hemisphere. But here's the thing about the far side. It's not called the dark side for nothing. Well, actually, that's a misconception. It gets plenty of sunlight, but it's permanently turned away from Earth, making communication absolutely impossible. Imagine trying to control a robot on the moon when you can't even send it a text message. That's where China's genius solution came in. The Kuekiao 2 relay satellite, acting like a cosmic telephone operator, bouncing signals between Earth and the lander. On June 1st, Chang'e 6 touched down in the South Pole Aitken Basin. Think of it as the moon's most ancient scar, a massive crater wider than the distance from New York to Denver. For two days, the lander worked tirelessly, using both a drill and robotic scoop to collect 4.2 pounds of precious lunar material from up to six feet below the surface. The samples were then launched into lunar orbit, transferred to a return capsule, and began their quarter-million-mile journey home. When that capsule parachuted into Inner Mongolia's grasslands on June 25th, it carried treasures that would revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. The moon's far side isn't just different from what we see every night. It's like visiting an entirely alien world. While the near side is covered with dark, smooth plains called Maria formed by ancient lava flows, the far side is a battered, crater-riddled landscape that tells a completely different story about our solar system's violent past. Scientists divide the moon into three distinct regions, and until Chang'e 6, we'd never collected samples from the most mysterious one, the South Pole Aitken Terrain. This region holds secrets that could unlock fundamental questions about planetary formation throughout the universe. The South Pole Aitken Basin itself is mind-boggling. It's roughly 1,600 miles wide and five miles deep, making it one of the largest confirmed impact craters in our entire solar system. Picture an asteroid the size of a small country slamming into the moon with such incredible force that it excavated material from deep within the lunar interior, possibly even reaching the mantle layer beneath the crust. This ancient collision, which happened around 4.3 billion years ago, essentially gave us a window into the moon's guts. The impact scattered debris across the basin, creating a natural geological museum where rocks from the moon's deepest layers lie exposed on the surface. For scientists, this was like having a treasure map to the moon's most guarded secrets. They just needed someone brave enough to go collect the treasure. When scientists cracked open those Chang'e 6 samples, they found something that completely blew their minds. These weren't just moon rocks. They were geological time machines containing 2.8 billion-year-old volcanic basalt, proving the moon was still erupting lava much more recently than anyone expected. But here's where it gets really wild. The far side samples are dramatically different from everything we've studied before. They're fluffier and more porous than near side rocks, almost like cosmic cotton candy compared to dense brick. The mineral composition tells an incredible story too. These samples contain more light colored particles like feldspar and glass, suggesting they're a mixture of local volcanic rock and foreign material blasted in from distant lunar impacts. Perhaps most shocking of all, these samples contain significantly less water than near-side rocks. We're talking about 1 to 1.5 micrograms per gram compared to up to 200 micrograms on the near side. This discovery is huge because it supports the giant impact theory. The idea that our moon formed when a Mars-sized object slammed into early Earth 4.5 billion years ago, sending molten debris into orbit that eventually cooled into our lunar companion. The samples also lack creep, 
radioactive elements that generate heat and could explain long-term volcanic activity. This absence raises mind-bending questions. How did the moon stay molten for so long without these heat sources? These discoveries aren't just rewriting textbooks. They're forcing us to completely reimagine how worlds are born. Chang'e 6's success isn't just a win for China. It's a game changer for global space exploration and our understanding of planetary science. This mission firmly established China as a major space superpower, joining an exclusive club of nations capable of complex sample return missions from other worlds. What makes this even more impressive is China's commitment to international cooperation. The mission carried scientific instruments from France, Italy, Sweden, and Pakistan, proving that space exploration works best when nations collaborate. China has announced that international researchers can apply to study these precious samples after two years, following the same model NASA established with Apollo samples decades ago. This discovery has massive implications for understanding not just the moon, but the entire inner solar system. The giant impact theory, now strengthened by Chang'e 6 data, helps explain how Earth-Moon systems form around other stars. The water content differences between lunar hemispheres give us clues about how water, essential for life, gets distributed in planetary systems. For future exploration, these findings are reshaping mission priorities. NASA's Artemis program and other lunar initiatives now have better targets for where to land and what to study. The samples also provide crucial baseline data for future lunar bases and resource extraction. Understanding the Moon's composition is essential for any long-term human presence. Most importantly, Chang'e 6 proved that the Moon still holds fundamental secrets about our cosmic origins, ensuring that lunar exploration will remain a priority for decades to come. Chang'e 6 is just the beginning of China's ambitious lunar exploration roadmap that reads like science fiction becoming reality. Next up is Chang'e 7, launching in 2026, which will focus on the Moon's South Pole, a region scientists believe contains massive deposits of water ice hidden in permanently shadowed craters. This mission will literally hunt for the building blocks of future lunar civilizations. Chang'e 8, planned for 2028, will take things even further by testing technologies for in-situ resource utilization, essentially learning how to live off the land on the moon. Think 3D printing using lunar soil, extracting oxygen from rocks, and creating fuel from lunar ice. These missions are preparing for something even more extraordinary. China plans to land astronauts on the moon by 2030 and establish a permanent research station at the lunar south pole. But China isn't alone in this new space race. NASA's Artemis program aims to return Americans to the moon, while private companies like SpaceX are developing the heavy lift capabilities needed for sustainable lunar operations. The European Space Agency, Japan, and India are all planning major lunar missions, creating an unprecedented era of lunar exploration. What Chang'e 6 really did was prove that the moon isn't a dead, boring rock. It's a dynamic world with stories to tell and resources to offer. As we prepare for humanity's return to the lunar surface, these far-side samples have given us the roadmap for the next chapter of space exploration. The Chang'e 6 mission proves we're living in the golden age of space exploration, where impossible missions become reality and ancient mysteries finally get solved. What amazes you most about these lunar discoveries? Are you excited about humans returning to the moon, or do you think we should focus on Mars next? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and I love hearing your perspectives on these incredible achievements. If you enjoyed diving deep into this historic mission, smash that like button and subscribe for more mind-blowing space content. Trust me, with missions like Chang'e 7 and Artemis coming up, the best discoveries are yet to come.